hello and welcome to my youtube channel Gamewiz. in this video we are going to discuss peroxide effect also called Karas effect or anti markonikov rule we have already discussed about markonikov rule in a separate lecture the link of the same is given in the description box of this video and also you can watch that video by clicking on the i button we will use markonikov rule as a start point of this lecture suppose we have an unsymmetrical alkene one butene and we are allowing it to react with hbr then according to markonikov rule the positive part of the reagent that is proton of hbr will preferentially go to the carbon of double bond that has more number of hydrogen atoms and the negatively charged part which is br will go to the carbon of alkene with less number of hydrogen to produce 2 bromobutane as the major product. This is called Marconica product. In contrast, in the presence of peroxide, proton of HBr goes to the carbon of alkene with less number of hydrogen atoms and bromine goes to the carbon with more number of hydrogen to produce 1 bromobutane as the major product. This is called anti marconica product this reversal of regiochemistry of addition of hbr to unsymmetrical alkene in the presence of peroxide is called peroxide effect or karas effect now come to the mechanism of peroxide effect addition of hbr to alkene in the presence of peroxide proceeds through free radical intermediate there are three steps. Step 1. Chain initiation. In this step, peroxide molecule undergoes homolytic cleavage like this to produce free radical. Step 2. Chain propagation. Here, the radical produced in the initiation step reacts with HBr. It abstracts the hydrogen atom from the HBr like this to produce water and bromine free radical. Now alkene reacts with bromine free radical. The bromine radical can attack alkenic carbon with more number of hydrogen like this to produce secondary alkyl free radical or it can also attack on the carbon with less number of hydrogen like this to produce primary alkyl free radical. We know that the secondary alkyl radical is more stable than primary. So the secondary alkyl radical is predominantly formed and the reaction proceeds mainly through the secondary radical. The secondary alkyl radical abstracts proton from HBr like this to produce bromine radical and anti marconica product. Here we can see that the bromine radical is regenerated therefore peroxide is required in the catal in catalytic amount just to initiate process. The bromine thus regenerated again react with alkene to produce secondary alkyl radical. These two processes are repeated one after another till the alkene is completely consumed. Step 3. Chain termination. Any two radicals combine together and destroy the radical. Now we will discuss a question which is why is peroxide effect applicable only to HBr? and not for HCl or HI. The answer to this question is that for a radical reaction to be successful, the propagation step should be exothermic. In the case of HBr, the propagation steps are exothermic. In the case of HCl, due to a strong HCl bond, chlorine radical is not formed. While in the case of HI, Iodine radical is formed but they combine together to produce 
iodine molecule. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.